begin with the scares. Republican leaders are demanding a full investigation of the Internal Revenue Service after officials admitted targeting conservative political groups during the 2012 campaign. Senate GOP leader Mitch McConnell is calling the tactics thuggish. Kristen Fisher of our Washington station WUSA joins us with more this morning. Kristen, good morning. Good morning, Nancy Anthony. Well, the IRS is saying we're sorry we made mistakes and they were not politically motivated. They blame this all on low level employees, but Tea Party leaders, they're not buying it. They rejected the apology and demanded the resignation of everyone involved at the IRS. About 75 groups were flagged by the IRS for further review for one reason. Their applications for tax exempt status contain the words Tea Party or Patriot. It's disgusting and it's disturbing. It's an abuse of power. Jenny Beth Martin is the founder of one of those groups, the Tea Party Patriots. They applied for tax exempt status four years ago and to this day, they've received no reply from the IRS. They're acting like kings of their own little fiefdoms. It's completely wrong and it's the antithesis of what America is supposed to be. The IRS said Friday it was in no way due to any political or partisan rationale that the groups were targeted because of an influx of applicants for tax exempt status, which doubled over the last two years. But that admission contradicts what the former IRS commissioner said last year when delays for conservative groups were drawing notice on Capitol Hill. Uh, there's absolutely no targeting. This is the kind of back and forth that happens when people apply for uh, 501c4 status. House Republicans are now calling for a full investigation and the White House agrees that action must be taken. It certainly uh, does seem to be based on what we've seen uh, to be uh, inappropriate action that uh, uh, we would want to see thoroughly investigated. In a conference call Friday, an IRS official said they fixed the problem. But when asked for the exact number of conservative groups targeted, here's how she replied. I'm not good at math. I'm a lawyer. I'm not an accountant. Now, that same IRS official was repeatedly asked when these mistakes were brought to her attention. She wouldn't say, nor would she comment on whether or not the employees responsible would be disciplined. Anthony, Nancy. Kristen Fisher in Washington. Thank you, Kristen.